What is up, everyone? How is everyone doing? Happy, happy Friday. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, think about it. It's a wonderful holiday. It's about eating tons of food with your family, watching some football. You don't have to watch football. Um, We were watching football. We watched the first game. And then the second game came on. My Dallas Cowboys, they played the Chargers, and they looked they looked like a bad high school team. It was really bad. So we turned the game off midway because me and my father are huge Cowboy fans. Uh, so we turned the game off midway. We were so upset. But the good thing was, was that we started Punisher, which just came out on Netflix, and that show is awesome. You, if you haven't seen Punisher, you definitely need to get on some Punisher. It is a great... It's just a good superhero movie. It like it's like okay, so you got Punisher, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil all intermingling. Oh, and the other guy, Iron Fist, all intermingling in this one universe, and it's pretty it's pretty cool. But Punisher is by far my favorite so far, so far. It's good. It's a good show. Um, really quickly, uh, if you want to pick up my concentrates over at Esig Express, um, they're twenty five percent off. If you use the code Black Friday 25, um, and I think the entire website on Eastig Express is is um, 25% off if you use that code. It could be a different code, um, but you can get a ton of stuff over there. I know Liquid Barn is like up to 40% off, um, up to 50% off some of it. So if you need like vegetable, oh, this motherfucking thing. If you need like a VG, PG, nicotine, anything here, I would pick it up. Honestly, I would pick up gallons of it. You're not going to get a better price. Well, this gallon sold out. Um, I bet you a lot of those gallons are sold out, to be honest. I mean, it's such a good deal, dude. It's such a good deal. So nicotine's 40% off. Like, how do you beat that? You know what I mean? Just get shitloads of it. I would get like, spend like 300 bucks and just get... 250 bucks and get five 1,000 milliliters at 100 milligrams. Dude, that would last you for the next three years. That's so much for so cheap. It's basically wholesale pricing. Um, I mean, VG is so cheap. If you can't get the gallons, how many 1,000s can you get? Dude, spend like... Spend like... Here. <laughs> how much can we get? <laughs> spend like 350 bucks. And you get 45,000 milliliter bottles, which are these ones. 45 of these. And this will last you a lot of e-liquid. So you get 45 of these, you're stocked. You're ready to go. I mean, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. It's such a good deal. Liquid Barn killed it this Black Friday. Um, Let's see, Bull City Flavors, I'm sure they have some sales going on. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Turkey 17. And you probably get some uh, 20% off order. 20% off your order is pretty damn good, man. And free shipping on domestic. So just load up on if you if you wanna uh if you wanna order from BCF, you don't want to order from ECX, load up here and just 20% off. This is the time to stock up. This is the time to do it. And especially my one shots. Because they're just so delicious. You know what I mean? I mean, they're so tasty. So anytime... Like, they were already the best deal in vaping. And then when you slap on 25% off, it's just the better deal. The best... Better than the best deal. It's, which is hard to beat. Uh, and just load up on these. Load up on these. Get rose milk. You know? Buy like 20 rose milks. I'm not telling you what to buy. I'm just saying it's a good deal. It's the best deal, but better than the best deal. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to uh, shout out to the guy who donated. Oh, my fucking mouse is on the fritz today. Here, let me plug it in. Actually, hopefully this will make it stop. Um, so uh, Salt Chef, Nah Chef, thank you Wayne for keep putting great content even when your videos are getting demonetized. Let's support our favorite artists and content creators. Thank you so much for your donation. It really means a lot, man. I I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, most of my videos get demonetized. 
well, they get re-monetized, but basically once all of my monetization is over. Um, so like most of my views come in like the first few days and it takes like a week or it sometimes it takes two weeks for them to get re-monetized. And by then no one's watching those videos. They already seen them. So, you know, I, it, the, the YouTube, it's okay that YouTube demonetizes me. I'm not too, too worried about that. Um, if you want to support me and in, in what I do, you know, you can donate or you can just pick up a membership. Memberships are the best way to do it. And it's not like you get nothing for your membership. It's not like a Patreon. You know, I'm constantly serving you with tons of content. You get access to the flavor book. You get uh, special podcasts, special video podcasts. You get special articles. There's a lot of stuff that goes. There's a lot of work that goes into it. That's mainly what I do is for members. Uh, and all the other stuff is kind of extra to help build it, help build the brand, grow the brand. Um, so thank you so much for donating. I'm sure you're a member as well. Thank you for becoming a member. And uh, thank you, yeah. Thank you. Dude, this mouse is like freezing up on me. I don't know what's going on here. This is not fun. All right, so usually the first half of the show, we got questions. We're probably just going to like mess around online. Uh, we're going to mix something up. I don't want to be too long because it is Friday. Thanksgiving was yesterday. It, it just stinks having to work after Thanksgiving. Um, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So we're just going to hang out. We're going to see if we can find some good vape deals going on. Uh, get some batteries, maybe get some mods and some atomizers, mix something up, then we're going to get out of here. What do you guys say? Sounds like a good plan. Carl, Wayne, I'm hurt. I did not ask about the custard yesterday. I wished you the happy family Thanksgiving. I'm taking my dad out for dinner, but we'll have DIY out streaming on my phone. Sounds good, my dude. Um, feel free to ask me any questions. If you do, make sure you tag me. That way I can see it a little easier. Florian, Florian, hello. Hey, everyone. Good evening, DIY I. Didn't catch a live stream in a while. How y'all doing? We're doing good, my dude. You eat any good leftovers today? That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing now. Yeah, I had some leftovers for lunch, and it was a terrible idea because after I ate my leftovers, I didn't want to do anything. You know what I mean? Like I just didn't want to do shit. I was just like, oh man, why did I do that? Because I had turkey, mashed potatoes, cream corn, and that was my lunch with gravy all over everything. Um. I'm probably going to try to eat all my leftovers for this weekend and then kind of go back to eating pretty healthy. Kate, so it was Kate's first time cook. It was our first time hosting Thanksgiving. So we had her family over and then my family over in our tiny apartment. Um, and Kate cooked the turkey. She cooked, uh, she cooked turkey. She cooked asparagus, bacon wrapped asparagus. She cooked stuffed mushrooms and she cooked, um, what else did she cook? She cooked an apple pie and uh, something else. I, I can't remember what it was. It was just so much food, man. Oh, mac and cheese. And I think that was it. Maybe one more other thing. And we were all nervous that she was going to mess the turkey up or that something wasn't going to... the stuff. Oh, she cooked stuffing as well. Um, but she did phenomenal. And everyone had... Uh, it was all delicious. So she did a really good job, which I was surprised. Um... And she just she just nailed it. Everything was delicious. The leftovers still taste great. So I got lucky there. I got lucky there. All right. What else we got here? Uh, 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 our vendor here in RSA got your concentrants up from the forum. I will from the forum talk. I think they will do very well here. Sounds good, man. Are you still using the Entheon? Yes, I am. I use it on my squonker. What are your thoughts on it today? I love it. Actually, I, I might get another one because um, it's just great because it has pretty damn good flavor. It's not Hadley flavor, but it's close, but it doesn't leak. So that's a huge thing for me. And this one leaks a lot. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I've been extra leaky these days. So I think I might pick up another Entheon because I like the one on the Squonker. It works nice. Maybe I'll squonk one of the Hadley's and put the Entheon on this device. I'm not sure on my drag. Got some deals on IMR batteries website, 25% off at Nicotine River. All right, yeah, we're gonna check some stuff out. Best battery place is close to you and me, uh, lithiumionwholesale.com. All right, we'll check that out. We're gonna check that out. Dude, this mouse is really fucked up. Were you playing COD World War II on Xbox One last night? I played against a guy, his name is Young Lungs. 
No, I don't have Xbox. So it wasn't me. I'm a I'm a PlayStation dude. Um tell him tell him to to give me my name back. Any news on the vicious ant RDA comeback? I can't find the one you have pictured on your website. Oh, that's a good question. Um I saw it on their Facebook. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see cuz it, it should have been released, right? I don't remember what the release date was, but it should have been released by now. Let's see here. There's their Duke. So that is pretty nice, man. I think I think that is pretty cool looking. Uh posts. Maybe it's not up yet. Maybe they haven't sold it yet. Oh, okay, it's the 3rd, December 3rd, that's right. December 3rd it comes out, so we still got a little bit to go before that comes out. And you can get it online, I'm assuming. I'm not sure if they're going to do like some high-end thing or if you're going to have to go on their website. But I'm going to try my best to get one. I might even contact them and say, hey, I'm trying to pick up one of them radiuses. Save me one, dog. Yeah, because it looks pretty interesting, that's for sure. I'm kind of a new mixer and my liquid has a great taste, but it doesn't lay in my palate. Any ideas? Uh, sweetener. Sweetener. <laughs> if you're looking for like a commercial, that commercial flavor, yeah, you need sweetener. Like that lingering sweetness. It's all sweetener, dude. It's all sucralose just chilling in your mouth. And that's up to you. Do you want to be vaping sucralose? That, that's up to you to decide. I can't make that decision for you. But if you want that kind of feeling that you get when you buy like a store-bought juice and it leaves all that sweetness in your mouth, that's what you need. It's the only thing that'll do that. No flavoring can produce an effect that sucralose can produce. There's just, it just doesn't work that way. Flavor Arch Juicy Strawberry replaces Capella Sweet Strawberry and is Capella Sweet Capella Vanilla Whipped Cream a good sub for a vanilla swirl? Uh, no and no. Juicy Strawberry is good, but it's not like a replacement for Sweet Strawberry, and Vanilla Whipped Cream is not a replacement for Vanilla Swirl. They're two different flavorings. I mean, you, you'll probably get away with it. It, it. I'm not saying it's not going to work. I'm just saying they're not substitutes. Month old mixer here looking to do something with any of the following. Flavor West Hazelnut, Flavor West Bavarian Cream, Flavor West Butter Pecan, GJ Vanilla Overload. I don't know what that is. Uh, marshmallow and French Vanilla Deluxe. See, this is what you did. This is what you did that a lot of beginning mixers do, and it's a big mistake. Where are your fruits? Where are your candies? Where are your main profiles? These are all accents. Hazelnut, Bavarian cream, butter pecan, marshmallow, French vanilla deluxe. I mean, those are all like foundation flavors and accents. You need some main profiles. You need some fruits. You need some, some berries, uh, some desserts. You need some flavors that are going to, you know, be the main profile because you, all you have are creams here. These are all creams. So I, you really can't do much. You really can't do much until you get some of that stuff. Maybe mix this vanilla overload up by itself, but I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but don't worry, man. A lot of new mixers make that mistake. I've made I made two, three videos on it. So if you want, you know, you can go back to my catalog and watch those videos, and that'll show you what flavorings to buy. But that's a that's a mistake that a lot of beginners make. Still in the dark on the percentages I should be starting with. Again, that's that. This is all uh, very basic stuff. That's all on my website as well as my channel. Type in like what percentage do I start at, or uh, five percent rule, and that'll give you your answers. Dude, this mouse. I'm gonna break this mouse. It's gone now. It's gone. I don't have a mouse right now. There it is. I don't know what's going on with it. One second.
Hopefully that helps. <clears throat> uh, you didn't get an Xbox for 189, really? Nah, I don't need one. Um, if I'm gonna get one, it's gonna be one of the new ones, but I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna pick one up. Uh, glad you managed to get the latest Noted. Yes, Noted is up. A couple of technical difficulties because I was the main producer guy for that show wasn't there, so I had to produce it for them, and I was on my laptop at home, and there was a couple things that got messed up. So I wanted to cut the beginning out. Um, and for some reason it just took a while to upload. Don't ever, if you, if you're a YouTuber, don't ever use YouTube's, uh, trim. It's like its own, it has like this editing thing. Don't use it cause it takes forever. What cotton do you use? The best I found is Vapor's Gold plus cotton bacon to shame, puts cotton bacon to shame. It's a little pricey, I think. Three feet for nine bucks. Was waiting till today to pick up more sold out. Vapor's gold. No, I like cotton bacon. Cotton bacon is is my favorite by far so far. Um, I have this other stuff like um, I don't remember what it was called. I don't remember what it was called. Oh, here it is. Kendo vape cotton. Uh, Joel gave it to me. Of Mr. Hardwick's. Uh, it's this stuff here. And I'm not the biggest fan of it. It works good, but it does have a little bit of a break in. And it also like when you first use it, it kind of beads the juice right off. So it takes a while to get my juice on there. Where cotton bacon, I can just throw it in, throw some juice on it and it's good to vape. No break in. I don't know, It's it's been my favorite to use. Uh, I've never heard of Vapor's Gold though. Let me check this out. Let's check this vapor's gold out. Oh, you can't really see. Oh, uh, is it one of these like uh, pre-treated cottons? It's all out of stock, huh? It's pretty crazy. Must be popular. It's either popular or it's just a small operation and they can't keep up with stock. I'm not sure. Interesting. I don't like organ the organic shit I don't like. I want it to be pre-treated, pre-bleached, everything. Like, do whatever you gotta do to make my cotton taste like nothing, you know? Because if it's organic, it has oils in it and you can taste the oils and it's just, I don't like it. It's gotta be completely, I don't know, nothing. I said the battery website is close to us because I'm in Northeast Philly and you in South. The, the business is in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what deals they got because I do need batteries. I need a lot of batteries. What did you say it was? Uh, Elion Wholesale? Black Friday sale. Stock up now. All right, so I guess everything. All right, I don't want any of these batteries. These are all whack ass batteries. Give me, give me the. Actually, do they have those new ones? Oh, they do. Nah, I'm not trying to buy no iJoy. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. Samsung. Let's check out the Samsungs. Um, these are pretty cheap, dude. These are pretty fucking cheap. 25 hours. I love these batteries. Okay, okay. I could do, let's see what the Sony's they got. <clears throat> VTC fives and sixes. Okay. Okay. Four bucks. How many can I buy? Is there a limit? And you get a free battery case? I might buy like 10 of these for five bucks. It's always good to have batteries. This is a this is a this is a good battery. I think I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. I'm not big on like these rewraps. I'm not big on them. I'm not. I always see Mooch talking about how they all have problems. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm not trying to have problems with my batteries. 
let's see if he's talk if he talked about the um I joy 21700s Thanks that's what I was afraid of but I'm not a sweetener fan I'll stick with only using sweetener at a half a percent 1% Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, just use sweetener at a half a percent and you should be good, man. What about cherry pastries? I am trying to create a basic cherry cheesecake. Cheesecake with cherry topping. Never tasted any commercial juice with this profile. Um, I have actually, I had uh, not a cherry cheesecake, but a raspberry cheesecake we're going to make on a live mixing. Um, I think next week or the week after. Um, are you the one with all the creams though? Is that you? Let me see if I can find you. I don't think that was you. Maybe not. But cherry is difficult. You could try marzipan. Marzipan has like a little cherry flavor. Flavors maraschino cherry you could try out. Oliver, what's up, bro? Do you know any goose? Do you know goose custard by Quake? I do not know that, man. Unfortunately, I do not. You try rayon. I've, I've used rayon in the past. Rayon's like an old, old school thing. Not a fan. Cotton bacon, baby. All day cotton bacon. Uh, if it's if I'm buying cheap cotton, I'm buying uh, the stuff that I had last time, which was like Sephora. I bought it from Sephora. I forget what it was called. Shindo cotton or something. Shishido cotton or something. Muji is my go-to. Muji cotton. Yeah, this is kind of Kogan Doe. That's what it was. Kogan Doe. That was the cotton that I had from Sephora. This stuff is good. I like this shit. That, that was the stuff like when I bought a whole box of it. And it lasted me for, for like a year and a half, two years. And basically, I gave my dad a shitload of it. Otherwise, I'd probably still be using it. And it didn't have much of a flavor, but it did have a bit of a break in, especially when I was like a K fun or any type of tank. I would definitely taste it for like a good. It was much more fiddly than baked cotton bacon. All right. Where's Mooch at? Where's the Mooch man at? Here we go. All right. See, you can see here already. I joy 40 amp 3750 mod 21700s hugely overrated. Oh, but it's better than whatever that is. Bottom line, this cell has 40 amps on the wrap, which is far, far above its true rating of 24 amps. Its capacity is also exaggerated and averages only 3650 ma for the three cells I tested. Actually, that's not too bad, man. That's not too bad. So for 24 amps, you're getting around almost four, eh, 3650 ma milliamps per hour. So if you... If you pair that up, right? If you pair that up with, uh, oh, well, they want $9 for it. They want almost 10 bucks for it. That's with a discount. Yeah, I mean, I might as well just go with the Sony then in that case. Do these batteries fit in 20 or 10, 18, 650s? Oh, it's only uh, all in a size that is only a little bit larger than a standard 18650. Oh, so it it, it does not usually fit into in devices designed for... Oh, so I can't even get those. Do they have devices that use those batteries? What device uses those batteries? Does the drag? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What lemon should I use to get a sour lemon taste and a lemon tart recipe? It tastes like trick cereal the way it is. I want a tart with a boom, sweet, sour lemon peak. Um, Try lemonade. You could try some lemonade in there. You can try some lime. You need some accents. That's what's going to really help that bring that out. Um, you could try lime. You can try lemonades. Uh... What else? 
You could try Flavor Express Lemon. A lot of people like that one. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, it's it's maybe just because I had it so much. Try Flavor Express Lemon too. Do you use cotton bacon V1 or V2? I use V2. V2 when I when I can get it. But V1 is I haven't had issues with V1 either. Try cotton candy, it puts cotton bacon to shame. I, I think it's funny that everyone says that to me. <laughs> Everyone's like, try this cotton, it puts cotton bacon to shame. Uh, or try this cotton, it makes cotton bacon taste like shit. Yet I've not been impressed by a lot of these cottons. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Cotton bacon has has been quite consistent with uh, its results. It is a little bit pricey, but sometimes you know, you can get it in like packages with whenever you buy juice or I don't know. I don't re-wick my stuff a lot either. So maybe that's why it lasts me a little bit longer than others. Barber's Cotton from Amazon. MXJO batteries. Yeah, I would love a LiPo mod. It's been a while since I had one of those. I used to advocate high for LiPo. Oh yeah, we can check. Uh, What's that one site? What was that other battery site? Is it IMR? These are cool little fucking shotgun shell casing thing. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. I want 18650s. Bang, what do we got on sale? What do we got? Like, are these like... I mean, these are highly rated. What is, so you just basically have to, whenever you find batteries like this, you just gotta find out what Mooch is saying about them. Because if not, then like, why not just go with the Sonys, right? Like, why would you want a 30 amp battery that only goes up to 1500 ma? The Sonys are just so much doper. It's a pretty good battery. Oh, it's out of stock, of course. HG2s. I mean, these, these batteries are just like, I have so many of these batteries. So many of the HG2s. They're solid. And then the Samsungs. I only have a, a few Sonys, but I would like to restock up on my Sonys. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see what the price is. Okay. 350 VTC4s. Do they have the fives here? Yeah, right here. Boom, VTC sixes as well. 15 amps though. But am I going over 15 amps? I'm usually not, you know? I'm sitting usually on a regulated device. So might not need that, that extra draw. Oh man, the VTC fives are out. Only the other ones are in. I think I'm gonna buy a shitload of them and just be good with batteries for like the next year. They are very respected, all official, and guarantee everything. My wife and I was discussion regarding sub ohm. She vapes mouth to lung, 18 milligrams in a 1.5 ohm coil. I was telling her we were always told that if you sub ohmed, it basically tripled your nicotine level i was telling her that it had more to do with airflow and the amount of vapor you were ingesting rather than the actual ohm yes you are right yes it has nothing to do with the resistance you are correct shindu cotton is the best cotton made from pure cherokee hair vegan certified from the heads of infants shishido cotton is great all right any other questions that i missed oh yeah i missed a few iJoy Capo uses those batteries. The Pulse BF Squonk uses 2700 20, iJoy batteries. Oh yeah, the B, the Pulse BF Squonk. I kind of want one of those. Let's see if, all right, let's check out some vape deals. Let's go to Origin. Eh, I don't think Origin has any. Maybe Vapor Shark. Uh, we have Vapor Shark, Vapor DNA. What's another place where I can buy shit for vaping? It's It's been a while. Here on. Is Kidney Puncher still around? <laughs> Kidney Puncher. I'm not ordering from my vapor store. Uh, what about Mad Vapes? What about um, 
check my bookmarks here. One on one. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see. All right, so vapor DNA, this is usually where I go for new stuff. Vapor DNA. So it looks like this is the sale here. $50 off over $200 order. I'm probably not gonna be spending that much money. Yeah, so they're really not, they're, they're really not killing it right now with the sales. They're really not killing it with the sales. Um, what's new devices? I wanna see, let's see. I do like this one though. We were talking about this the other day. I do like that. Uh, what is it called? The, the pulse, right? Uh, they don't have it here. They don't have the pulse there. What else we got? All right, Kidney Puncher has got a juice blowout sale. A lot of juice. If you're a juice, I mean, I don't think a lot of you guys order juice, so we'll just skip that. Uh, Mad Vapes, Black Friday deals. Here we go. 25% off all e-liquid. It's a ripoff. It's on Monday. Black Friday. Uh, only today, all one, all in one device is 20% off. Buy any starter kit, get a free 30 milliliter. Black Friday sale. Uh, BOGO free e-liquid. Really not much here either. Really not much there either. All right. What about one-on-one? -on -one? Anything here? No, nothing. All right, what about Vapor Shark? Let's see what you guys are saying. Fifty bucks off two hundred dollars is a twenty five percent deal, and that's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I don't just don't know if I'm gonna be spending two hundred bucks on Black Friday, you know, or on vape vape gear on Black Friday. Try Gear Best for awesome deals, Chinese and slow de delivery though, mate. Yeah, I mean. Gearbest is always good for cheap shit. I'm trying to find some. Uh, it looks like Vapor Shark doesn't have any sales going on. Nothing. Ah, damn. Vape Street. VapeStreet.com. Let's check this one out. So far, Vapor DNA. Is looking good. We got some batteries. We're gonna pick up some batteries. Um, and we're gonna see if, the, if we got Vape Street. Vape Street doesn't look like a website that works. So Vape Street doesn't work. My Vapor Store. I mean, we guess we could check it out. Let's see what they got. Let's see what we got here. Little turkey in the corner. I'm assuming this means Black Friday, I guess. Friday 15. What is this? 15% off. Free shipping. 15% off is not bad. That's not bad. What is this thing? I keep seeing this thing. What is this? Is that a fidget spinner on the side? Oh. oh okay. It's a fucking speedometer. <laughs> it's an odometer. It's an ohmdometer. This thing is no. Don't buy this thing. If you buy this thing, you can just unsub right now. <laughs> uh, let's see if they got the pulse. I saw the post on Instagram and I did I did like the way it looked. Nope. No pulse here. They don't have it at Vapor DNA either, right? We checked, right? Yeah, we checked. 
So far, so far, we're not, we're not getting a pulse. What was the one that you said? Brad's Vapor? I mean, I'm not sure if I want to order anything from Brad's Vapor. Yeah. Nothing against Brad's Vapor. But, um... It's just a little too... Oh, Dobmot's got a squonker? Look at that. Check out Brad over here. Brad's killing it. With the Dotmod Squonker. Is this out? They will be in next week. No discount codes. That thing's pretty cool. Everyone's in getting everyone's trying to get in that squonk game, huh? What's the best way to make a raspberry more syrupy? I've tried flavor arts blackberry at 0.25%. Should I increase it or FA liquid amber or something? Uh, more syrupy. Um, maybe blackberry. Maybe not flavor arts blackberry though. Maybe like TFA blackberry or maybe um, um, some pomegranate. Pomegranate seems to help me with like syrupy stuff. I'm starting to rest around with a little more flavor enhancers. Do you have any suggestions on one? Where in a recipe saline helps the most? Does saline bring extra moisture to the vape as well? No, saline helps basically with tobaccos. And it helps, uh, it, it does the opposite really. It dries your vape out a little bit more. Um, so Charlie Nobles uses it in his PB cereal and in my opinion, if you mix it up with it and without it, there's a very minute difference in just how the vape feels and how the flavors get brought to you. It's up to you if you want to use If I don't think you're going to find much of a difference. I don't think you're going to find a substantial difference using it or without using it. Um, I've used it in an RY4 recipe before and I just wasn't impressed. And I don't know. I just stopped using it. But... Uh, apple cider vinegar adds more of an acidity to your mixes. Uh, the best enhancers are like sweetener, like sucralose, ethylmaltol, triacetin, malic acid, citric acids. Those are those will substantially give you an effect to your mixes, but they're very tricky to work with. You need to know really the chemistry underneath all of your recipes, and that means using TFA. Uh, using because you can measure how much of what and where you're lacking things with TFA where the other ones they don't give you the formulas like TFA does so you can't really do that the 2700 and 21700 are used a lot by iJoy most of their new mods use them the Vinny Pulp VF uses them what are your thoughts on a little peep we actually talked about a little peep on the podcast uh, last podcast. So if you want to go check that out, um, you can hear my thoughts. It's a shame what happened. Drugs are bad. I, I, we talked a lot. We pretty much dedicated like a 35 minutes to that segment. I don't want to stay too long on it. But it is a shame. What coils do you recommend for flavor? I just like regular coils, but I do like fused Claptons. Uh, my boy Alan sent me a bunch of coils and I just installed one on my um, Hadley that sits on my Melody box. 0 0.5 ohms, 40 watts. It's excellent. Uh, it's excellent. I like fused Claptons a lot. I don't make them. I've made a, I've made a Clapton wire, regular Clapton wire once. Uh, like two years ago and I don't think I'm, I'm just not into all that coil building stuff because um, it's a it's it I can't really use them in the devices that I like to use them in luckily the Hadley lets me put like a fuse clapped in there or an alien in there uh, and that works but you know it's how much of a difference in flavor is that compared to a regular coil there is a difference but it's not much and it, you also you need the right type of like power behind it as well. So you got to really, if you have like a lower resistance coil or even if it's like 0 0.5 ohms, but there's a lot of wire there, there's a lot of metal there, the ramp up's really long. And I have a lot of DNA 40 devices that I like to use my Hadley's on. 
or something like this. It doesn't matter. I can push it up to like 70 watts like this one is or 60 watts and I'm good to go. But DNA 40, you got 40 watts to play with. So you need as little as metal as possible, you know, and the flavor's still good. When are the biggest discounts? I would say around the holidays, Christmas is probably where you're going to get the biggest discounts. That's where I've seen. You also get a lot around like Labor Day and stuff. Oh, e Siggity, that's right. That's another one. I'll check that one out. And ex as experienced coil builders, sta staple staggered fuse clapton's are by the far the best coils I've had for flavor. Yeah, I, I I've seen them. I have never got to use a sta staple stagger fuse clapton, <laughs> but I have seen them, and they do look impressive. Like they look like they uh, were, are going to give you some flavor because you want those like pockets in your wire, which which like when you use a fuse clapton, when you wrap it, you get like little pockets around the coil. And that traps your juice. So you want to like kind of stuff your wick in there nice and tight. You don't want it too tight, but you want it tight so it's packed against those little rivets. When you drip onto it, it sucks into the coil, but it also, or it sucks into the wick, but it also sucks into that coil. And like that first few hits where the juice is just sitting in the coil and just immediately evaporates, that like flavor is so true and it's so, uh, it's so reference. And that's what I love about it. So uh, anything that has like a bunch of pockets in your coil where, you know, you have, you have certain wraps which are like twisted, which don't really work as well because they don't open up those pockets nicely. A, a, a con with that though, is that when you have those pockets, you get a lot of spit back. Um, and I've had issues where, especially on the Hadley, uh, you go to fire it and it just sh like shoots out and spits at you. So you, so you can see it's already like, it's pretty much shooting hot lava at your fucking roof of your mouth. All right, so we, we got the Pulse Bottom Feeder box mod here. Do we get it on sale? 30% off your entire purchase with the code Black Friday 2017. That is the deal. That is the deal. All right, so it looks like we're going to eSiggity.com. I'm buying a Pulse. I'm buying a pulse. I want one of these bad boys. It uses it uses one of these. I'm I'm good with it. Oh, you could use both. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, would you guys recommend this? Is this a good mod? It's mechanical though, right? I like it. I, I want to I want to just use one of these batteries. That's basically why I want one of these. I want to see if there's like a difference with those batteries, so I can write a little article on it. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit of it's a little tax a little tax write off. All right, let's see what else they got. Thirty percent off, dude. You can't beat that though. You can't beat that. Oh, this one's pretty sick. The little clear doors on it. Little clear doors, dude. Does the oh, it doesn't lock though. Ah, it doesn't lock though. Ooh, I like that one, dog. I like that one. It's not out yet or some shit. What's going on here? They all sold out. Damn, sold out. I like the clear one too. That one, frosted white. All right, what else we got? G box squonk. Everyone's getting into squonk, dude. Everyone's getting, dude. None of these are these all sold out. What's going on here? Are they just not out yet? What is this? <laughs> Some of these mods are just so ugly. The Venina. Look at the Iron Man mod right there. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. This is another squonk. Is that a... Oh, this one's pretty dope, huh? So it looks pretty cool. It looks a little janky down there though, right? What else we got here? Voopoo. Done with you, Voopoo. 
Till you change your name, I'm not buying any more of your mods. I like the little di the digi camo. The digi desert camo. That's so big though. Don't want it too big. Goodbye. I want some... Uh... Looks like we're going with Pulse. Looks like we're going Pulse. Hey, they got some drag. So if you guys are looking to pick up a drag, you can go to eSiggity and you'll get 30% off, man. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. And the only one worth buying is either this one here, which is like that Van Gogh style, or this one here. That one's pretty cool. See, like these two, this green one looks a little cheesy, but that's my opinion. That's my opinion. And of course, you're going to have... <laughs> You're gonna have the word drag on your mod unless you know you cover it up like I did. You gotta cover it up. You can't have drag on your mod, dude. I'm sorry. You can't do it. The Pulso Box mod has a lock switch on the inside. Oh, okay, that works. And you were looking at the replacement panels. Okay, so there is a switch uh, at the contact inside of the door to keep it from firing. All right, that works then. That works, as long as you can lock it. That's what I liked about my other one, but the other one is kind of ugly. I like the way the, the post looks. It, look, it just looks better than the one that I have, which was, uh, I don't remember the name. Oh, it was right here. The Ram Box. Yeah, the Ram Box. It's just, it, it works nice. It's a nice little squonk, but it's a little ugly. I really wish my MTO worked. I need to get someone to fix it for me. I just haven't sent them out yet. The cloud maker is still out, dude. No way. They're still selling the cloud maker. <laughs> no way. The modular mod. Oh, man, this thing was supposed to be so cool. If you guys don't know what the cloud maker was, be thankful. It was supposed to be a modular mod. New chip comes out, you just swap it into the cloud maker. And they came out and the execution was just very poor. People were so upset with this thing. Oh, it's such a disgrace. What a disgrace. What a disgrace. All right, well, it looks like I'm getting a pulse. e has got the best deal right now. Any other places we could check out that's got a good... uh. Black Friday sale thing going on before we get mixing. Pulse is better than the Athena I hear says, says queer your vape. Well, I'm probably gonna get the pulse then. That's what that sounds like. Looks like Candy King has never changed their labels. Get modder, get a modder squonker like a runt or an anaquandra much better than all those Chinese boxes. I mean, if, if, I mean, if I can get one without having to go through the high-end scene, I would love to. I would love to, but see, it's like this shit, interest list, like I'm not trying to sign up and get on a list and do all that stuff, man. I'm so over that, and spending three, four, five hundred dollars on a mod and have it break within the next four or five months is just, it's, I've, I've kind of just been over that game. I've kind of just been over that game. Because I used to really advocate for those type of mods until I realized a lot of the customer service is shit. The community around it is shit. Getting one is shit. The prices are shit. The only thing that is worth it is supporting a local or supporting a small artist. And, um, you know, you do get really nice mods. Like my JMFD is my favorite mod ever. My Melody is my, was one of my favorite mods. Um, but like all those other ones, the Axis... Complete shit. Broke on me. Pin broke on me. Um, I wanted to get it fixed. Company never emailed me. Then I find out the company's out of business. Uh, what was the other one I had there? The MTO box mod. I mean, that's a whole process to get it fixed. And I'm sure they would, but it's just a whole thing to get it fixed. Where a Chinese one, if it breaks, fuck it. 30 bucks. I'll just go get another one. And I'll get a newer version of it. You know, and, it, and I'll get it now. I won't have to wait at all to get it. So it's, it's really hard to get like once you feel like you've left the high end stuff it's really hard to get back in but atomizers I'll wait for 
uh, if I see like a nice drip or an atomizer, like the Hadley or the the fucking like the vicious ant one, I'll wait for one of those because I know that's not gonna break on me. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna last. And you're supporting a good, uh, you're supporting a local or a smaller guy, and t- to me, it's just a lot. It's a lot safer of a purchase. Yes, Wayne, there's a difference in the battery. Save your monies and go to BMM on Facebook and get the snitch. Not buying anything from Facebook. No offense to anyone who sells Facebook stuff. <laughs> I just get a website. It's not that hard to put up a website. Vupu 2 is dope. Yeah, the gene chip is nice. Where would you start with a cherry Bakewell cupcake profile? I mean, everyone is looking like they want cherry. You, I would use black cherry by flavor art. Some you can use marzipan sometimes has a cherry note in it, and you can use um, maraschino cherry by Favora. Those are probably the cherries that I would recommend. It's not uh, it's not like that out here in Europe. There are so many good modern supporters. Perfect, the community helps out a lot, and it's not too hard to get into one. Yeah, but I'm not in Europe. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not in Europe. You know, in the U.S., it's it's a different it's a different process. I don't know. I've just I feel like I've uh, I've I've been burned, and it's it's gonna be hard to get me back in that game. Unless you know, I, unless I can call the dude up and he can send me one out, and I'm like, hey, I'll PayPal you, send it out to me, something like that. That kind of deal, I'm, I'll I'll be happy to do. But I, the whole lists and the Facebook group thing, just over it, man. Pulse contacts, contacts and get, get, I don't know why I can't read. Pulse contacts recessed in and can't see a way to get them out to clean. Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at it. That's, that, that's an interesting, uh, I do like the Enna Quandro, or there's one with like an octopus on it. I always wanted one of those, but I'm not going to, uh. Waiting a list for it. Where do you see it recessed? And I can't see it on here. It doesn't show me on here. It doesn't look recessed here, but I I mean I I guess you're saying it's recessed down here. So you can't clean the contact. It looks like you might be able to pull this thing out, maybe. Cause then you press a button to I don't know. I don't know. Oh wait, and then you got an extra pins down here too. So maybe you can just replace them that way. <clears throat> in fact, yeah, why did I get a plug for fuck's sake? Fuck this cheap Chinese shit off. I mean, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> is it a mod? Plug mod? Let's check them out. Do they got Black Friday deals going on? <laughs> How do I find this thing? Let's see here. Darren, why don't you hook me up with one, dude? And I'll pay you the money, and you just send it out to me. I know where you can buy an octopus squonk right now. Hit me up, dude. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. As long as it's not marked up, you know, 35 40%, I'm happy. Or I just go cheap Chinese squonk box. And spend thirty bucks, and I have it tomorrow. It's hard. It's hard to beat it. It's a. It's a Facebook squonk group. Ah oh, man, that high end scene, dude. I don't know. I'm just even thinking about it is making me. Just, make me want to sign off Facebook. <laughs> I wish I knew how to mod. That's really what I need to fucking do. I think I'm going to do that this summer or something. I'm going to learn how to mod and just mod my own shit and teach you guys how to do it if you wanted to. It can't be difficult. It can't be difficult. There's like 40 fucking 3D printing shops around me. There's all different types of 3D printed uh, schematics that you can just print out, bend some metal, get a button, boom. There you go. Squonk. Squonk away. Or you can sell them. 300 bucks each. 
Jump on the Discord group by for the RSQ or Gbox Squonks. Plug is from Mums Vape, US Modder, Facebook group based based as all all the good stuff. They're like 150, I can sell you mine. All right, hit me up on uh on email. Hit me up on email or in Discord. If you guys have a uh if you guys have any groups that you recommend, feel free to let me know. If they're quick, if they're quick with their list, if they act actively make their mods, like if I'm not waiting, you know, three, four months for a box, I'm not done with that as well. You know, paying whatever it is, the price of the mod up front and then having to wait six months for a box. Not interested. Have you checked Origin Vip? They have 30%. You know what? I checked Origin Vape the other day and I just, they don't really have much stuff. It feels like they lost a lot of their stock. This is interesting. I like this little uh, landing page here. They're 30% off uh, store wide as well. That's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, see, they have a lot of like these, these uh, all in one devices. Let's see. Let's see what they got here. Is the Athena IPV? IPV is still making mods, dude. Still making ugly ass mods. This is only 40 bucks. Can't beat it. Where are we? There you go. So, Origin and E Siggity right now have got the best deals. I'm leaning more towards E Siggity. It seems like they have a better stock, but I've ordered from Origin um, for a long time, and they've never steered me wrong. Origin always uh, has always done me well. Did you look at Local Vape? Thirty-five percent off. All right, let's check it out. We're checking out Local Vape next. Let's check out Local Vape. Thirty-five percent off. That's that's the top dog then, if it's got it. Yep, 35% off everything. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Comp mods, the comp mod. Asmodus Minikins. I don't want none of those. Um, what is that? What is that? This looks pretty nice. DNA 75 chip. I mean, we go in here and get ourselves a fucking hexome, which I'm interested in as well. Dude, if you want one of these like mechs, I would go here, local vape. Go to local vape. They've got the best deals right now. Is this new? I don't like that tip. You can get your dot mod drippers. You can get this thing too. <laughs> Look at that airflow. That's gigantic, gigantic airflow hole. <laughs> I saw a bunch of people hitting me up. Is flavor art condensed milk an okay sub for perillium condensed milk? No. Scroll up and read my comment on Pulse versus Athena. Got the Pulse and Athena. Prefer the Athena, to be honest. The button is better. Seems to hit harder as well. And the lick button, lock button is better because you can see Step, step it down to clean the contacts on the pulse. Okay. Go with the pulse at 0 0.12 with 2700, it hits hard as fuck. I barely noticed the voltage drop. The bottle is eight mils and super soft, great for the price.
You can buy my plug, but it's pretty special. Okay. <laughs> I'm down with that, dude. I'll buy your plug. You vape octopus right now? Oh, you vape from France? All right, I'm gonna bookmark that. I refuse to spend money on new vape gear until something comes out that actually gives me a better vape. Dude, I think we've reached maximum vape capacity, to be honest. I don't under, I don't know where else this site looks is this site looks really nice. Do they have any Black Friday deals? Probably not, right? I can't read anything either. <laughs> but I think I mean we think we've reached peak vape. I don't I don't know how we could get any better. Like the only way we can get better a better vape is through the juice, I think. I think in terms of technology, we're pretty much set. Unless temp control gets better. Yeah, I, I definitely want some of these. I definitely want some of these. These look nice. I don't really know how to read this. It doesn't lock though, right? I like those doors, man. I might make one, dude. It doesn't look difficult. Just a couple pieces of metal and some plastic. All right, we got a mix. Why don't you use temp control anymore? I remember you're curious because you used to be down for it a while ago. Uh, it's too like uh, annoying to build using nickel. So a lot of rules with temp control. And I find that it really, it doesn't control the temp. It just limits the temperature um, where you don't go over a certain limit. You know, it doesn't just rock out at one temperature. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like the temperature control stuff is just a little bit too messy right now. They need to figure out a way to make it easier and to work with Canthal. Because nickel sucks. Um, what did I want to make today? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I was drinking a lot of peach pear LaCroix. And I was thinking maybe I can make a vape like that. Maybe something with peach in it. What do you think? I don't think I've used I don't think I've made a peach anything in this show before. I could be wrong, but I don't remember doing that. So we're gonna do something with peach in it. I'm holding out for a vibrating tube mod <laughs> for my mixing juice. <sighs> I'll PM you a picture of my plug squonk later. Dude, please, that'd be awesome. I am interested. I mean, maybe I'll make a donut. We can make a donut. That's that's winterish. A donut. We'll go donut vape. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna use a donut that not a lot of people like. TFA glazed donut. I have Flavor West too. We could use Flavor West, but I know some people don't like this stuff. Patented peach flavora eggnog combo. If we go with a donut, we can go with like a... Maybe we'll get a butter pecan donut and we'll keep it super simple. Just mixed up a cherry cheesecake. I added 0.3 menthol to cool. It smells interesting. Use favor cherry, black cherry, twist of Fuji. 
Twist the Fuji at 0.6 might be a lot. I would drop that down. You might get a lot of Fuji there. It's not, that's a little bit more than a twist. Zipola or Wow? I think we're going to use uh, Flavor West and Flavor West Butter Pecan. It's like one of those maple donuts. You know what I'm saying? Like a maple nut donut thing. Let's just see. Let's just see if it works. Peach is a little bit too springtime. You think I'm gonna need some uh, some new yellow cake, huh? Look how dark it's gotten. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do two recipes. We're gonna make one donut and we're gonna do one peach yogurt. Cause I do wanna try the frozen yogurt by Wonder Flavors. So we're gonna do two recipes. All right, I think we're gonna go with, for the donut, we're gonna go with Flavor West Glazed Donut as the donut, a little bit of butter pecan, butterscotch ripple, and then for like the, the nutty part, we're gonna use pralines and cream by Capella. And then we're gonna do a super simple peach and cream, which just, we're just gonna use other, one other peach and then um, frozen yogurt and see how that goes. All right. That's my recipe right there. That's my shit right there.
That should be all right. I mean, I can bump the butter. I could probably bump some of this up. We could, we could probably go a little higher on everything. I kind of want to just feel it out, though. That's where we'll go for now. One problem we have is I only have one bottle. Yeah, man, my Dallas Cowboys. I think that's it for the season. I don't I don't think we got much else to to do this season, man. Kind of blew that game last two games. Without Zeke, I don't see us doing anything. I'll tell you who looks good is the Vikings look good. They played a good, good, good game. Damn, that smells really good. Any, I guess anything with butter pecan smells good, man. That That's a flavoring that really... It's just, it just smells so good. Carson Wentz in the division, you're probably done for the next 10 years. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give you that, man. Carson Wentz is... He really changed that whole team around. The Eagles are probably going to go to the Super Bowl. But the Vikings look really good as well. So I don't know. How about the uh, the Lions blocking like three kicks? This smells really good, actually. We're going to give this a try. Oh man, I just can't wait to do nothing this weekend. I'm excited for it. I'm basically balls to the wall from Monday until after New Year's. I'm balls to the wall, just slammed with all kinds of work. I got a lot of stuff for DIY or die I need to do. Commercial clients, um, a personal project that I'm doing. 
I, I just got so much work. Plus, on top of that, the fucking holidays, which is always crazy for, for me and my family. And um, I just can't wait for this weekend. Yeah, Saints look good. What's crazy is Drew Brees is almost 40. That's what that's what's crazy about that. That old fart. And the Patriots just are always good. Patriots is the number one most hated team. It's either them or the Dallas Cowboys. Yet they are the easily the most dominant team since the since Lombardi's Packers. I'm really jealous about these liquid barn bottles. They look so comfy to use. Anywhere I can get some like these in Europe? I'm not sure, man. I would ask around in the Chef's Flavors forums. Chef's Flavors Facebook group. There, There's a bunch of good people in there. Chef's is awesome. Um, Someone might be able to help you out. I, I don't know. <clears throat> Take care, James. Maple donut. The problem with this donut is the pralines and cream. I don't think this is the right choice. This is a good flavor, but it just, it's so overpowering, even at a half a percent. It's just a big bully in the mix, but it does add exactly what it, it needs to add. Unfortunately, everything else just seems a little bit underneath uh, the pralines and cream, or I kind of wanted that as an accent. Maybe it just needs to steep. Maybe I should have made a bigger bottle, 10 mil. Is uh, pretty difficult to mix with. It's tasty so far, though. I don't know if it's a hundred percent maple donut, maple walnut donut, we'll call it, but it's close. It's close. All right, we do got another bottle, nice. We gotta do some cleaning. All right, we're gonna test out this Froyo. What about some more maple? You could probably add like some maple syrup or some type of like, some maple syrup might work in here. Uh, and I would just get rid of the pralines. If you want, I would just get rid of pralines. Maybe use a different nut. Maybe nut mix by Flavor Art. Hazelnut, almond. It's a little too overpowering. It's pretty good though.
Just needs a little work. All right, we're going to use Wonder Flavors Frozen Yogurt. Um, I'm thinking 3% here. Yeah. And then we need a peach. TFA Juicy Peach. With some TFA or Capella Yellow Peach. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. 1% TFA Juicy Peach is a pretty potent flavor. Oh wait, no, this is a uh, yellow peach. You know what? What is my recommended use for yellow peach? I forget. I gotta check my flavor book. Three to five. Yeah. We're going to make 20 mils. Let's go all the flavors. Hurry up. Waiting for you to load. Here we go. Yeah. Let's try again. Oh, great. <laughs> Fucking God damn it.
Super simple. Really just checking out this Froyo. See how this Froyo does. It smells good. See, this bottle sucks though, because it's going to be hard to get my VG in there. All right. This is the only vape channel I follow these days. I appreciate it, man. I love you, buddy. You've been a subscriber for a while. Much love, my dude. Yeah, the donut one's not bad. I'm gonna see how that steeps. If you're wondering why I always use this sweater to wipe shit, it's physic it's basically here to wipe shit. It's an old dirty sweater I use. I have a bad habit of just having shit on my hands and just bang right on my pants. So I started to uh, keep old sweaters nearby for this reason. You might say, hey, what about napkins? Paper towels, tissue. Guess what, dude? Not good for the environment. I care about our future's children, okay? What's up, Emily? Always nice of you to join us. All right, let's see how this Oh man, over drip city. That's not bad.
That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now it's not creamy though. At least in this recipe. Might be the peach though. It's like soft. It's like a soft dairy. It's like a soft cream, like a soft, light, fat free cream, almost like a soft whipped cream. But there's not much, like, there's no richness to it. There's no milky, no dairy notes. Um, unfortunately. So I think if you were to use this, it would be great in like softer desserts. Use it as like a whipped cream. But if you're trying to make like a froyo, well, I guess that's what a froyo is. It's not, there's not much dairy in it, but it also doesn't have like that yogurt flavor, that uh, sour yogurt flavor. Like it has no dairy in it. It's very soft, but it could be the peach the way yellow peach works sometimes, it like, it, it kind of thins things out. Because the peach note is nice. It also just might need a steep. This is right off a shake, you know. It could just need a steep to really develop. I would honestly add in some type of like milk or uh, ice cream or something in here to give it more of a froyo flavor, more accurate flavor. It's starting to come through a little bit more. Yeah, it's just a little soft. Unfortunately, because you, you want a little bit more of that richness to really sell it as like an ice cream. You know what I mean? To really sell it as like a, dare, a dessert. Otherwise, it tastes more of just like a soft peach flavor with a little bit of light cream on it. You can taste it a lot more like when it, when you get some in your mouth though. So maybe it just needs a steep. Hey, wait, I'm having trouble getting a good result with TFA white chocolate. Any tips well could help drive it home a little more? I was thinking maybe a malted milk. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of TFA white chocolate. Flavor West, I think, is much better. I would just use Flavor West. Uh, TFA's white chocolate, I do. That is one flavor I get a pepper flavor from. Um, you could try a little touch of malted milk or some vanilla bean ice cream, but. Uh, I, I've had, I've haven't had much success with white chocolate, TFA's white chocolate. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that's it for live mixing. Any last questions before we get out of here? Any last questions, any last remarks? I think I'm gonna go and pick up one of these um, pulse mods. Do a little review. We do a little review, a little uh, video review. You know, see see if you guys would be interested in that. I'm definitely gonna pick up some batteries. Maybe I'll pick up something else while I'm at it.
but I need some batteries for sure. Might throw up a, throw up a mod in there while I'm at it. Pulse, why not? I see a lot of people using it, talking about it. It looks nice. Everyone's squonking these days. So if you're trying to be cool, you gotta squonk it. Hopefully Darren hits me up with one of his mods. That'd be awesome. Get one of those nice uh, European squonk boxes. They all got those things nowadays. Thanks, man, for all your content. Love your shit. Respect from down under. Dude, thank you for being a subscriber, man. Much love. Do you know an easy strawberry milkshake recipe? Sure do. Go on my website, DIYDiveVaping.com. You can see the URL right down over there in the corner. And just uh, search strawberry milkshake. You should find a few. Have a relaxing weekend before the holiday hurricane, bud. You deserve it. Yes, definitely relaxing this weekend. Putting my feet up, watching some Punisher, playing some Call of Duty. Actually, I've been playing Rainbow Six Siege. God damn, I forgot how good that game is. Make sure you check out Startup. I was almost late for Thanksgiving dinner bringing the episodes of Season 2. It's binging the episodes of Season 2. It's great. Yes, dude, thank you so much for uh, letting me download that. Definitely going to watch that too. Just to say you're a legend, mate, that's all. Love your work. Much love, Pippa. Thank you. Love your show as well. Keep doing your thing. Tell Luca Barton to restock the one-gallon VG. I know you have the power. <laughs> Actually, I think I... All right, I'll text them. I'll shoot him a text and tell them people are trying to get that VG. Pulse is a good, cheap squonk. Lab works. I think I'm going to pick it up, man. If you have the dollar. I got the dollar if you got the product. No, I want to see it too. I want to see what it looks like. But I got the dollar for you. I have a squonk set up on the way. I'm jumping the I'm jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, well, I, I squonking is cool, man. It it because you get the flavor of a dripper with the convenience of a tank. Plus, it's all like in this nice little cute little design, um, and it works nice. I do. There's one thing that I can't say that squonking is better than just regular dripping, and it's I do get a flavor from whatever it sits in, whatever bottle it sits in, or whenever you uh, just any type of like plastic. And that's what I'm noticing. Like plastic, I can really taste. And maybe it's the heat, some type of heat. I don't, I'm not sure, but I taste plastic. Um, it's like one of my sensitive things that I get. And I do, I taste cotton a lot too, but that's, like, that's, what I, that's why I like to use cotton bacon V2. It's one of the only cottons that I don't really taste at all. Otherwise, um, I need to like break it in and drip some regular plain VG on it or just like really just break it in with like lighting it up and just blowing on it until basically if I've went through like three different drips. I would like a, um, a squonk with like, like a button, uh, like a pump system with a button. So you could use like a ceramic bottle or something or like a stainless steel bottle and you like, I don't know, you like plunge something and it squirts up your juice into your RDA. I think that'd be cool, you know, or maybe you would press your RDA down. You would like cover that and just and press the RDA down and that would squonk up and then you could use like a, cause you would just use air pressure. You know what I mean? I think that would be cool. Someone make that. If you make that, I'll buy it from you. But you have to give me royalties because I thought of it just now and I patented it in my brain, so you have to give me my royalties for that. It's upside down dripping. Oh shit, Skills is another YouTube channel right now. DIY Mixers Crew. All right, yeah, you guys, let's go watch Skittles and DIY Mixers Crew channel. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I love you all. I hope you had a great holiday and I, um, I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all content every single day. New articles, new podcasts, new videos, new recipes, new flavor notes. Every single day. Content, all the time. DIYDiveVaping.com. 
here on the channel. Follow me on Twitter at DIY or Die Vaping. Follow me on Instagram at DIY or Die Vaping. Make sure you follow me at the DIY or Die Mixers Collective on Facebook, as well as the DIY or Die Coil Crew. You can also hit me up at Wayne Makes Things on uh, Twitter and Instagram, and check out my other channel, No Life Digital. No Life Digital on YouTube, No Life Digital on Twitter, No Life Digital on Instagram. We're coming out with a new website. We're going to have new podcasts on that channel as well. Doing crazy things. Let's get out of here, guys. I love you all. Keep mixing. Much love. Goodbye, everyone.